Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 98. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since I've recorded just because I've been super busy and um, uh, the holidays and just life stuff. So I, I haven't done a lot of crocheting, but I did. I have a finished object that's little <laughs> and I have one that's almost finished. I was trying to work on it earlier, but I kept getting interrupted. So it's almost finished and I got two whips that I've been working on, but I'm going to hop in and show them to you. I've also got, I got my notes written down here. I've got a couple of cool things that I'm, I've been sharing with you guys. I got I found a couple, and then I got some bags here that I was going to show you that are in the Etsy shop right now. Um, there's, I think, 20-something maybe left in the shop. If you're interested, you can check it out in the description box. And then I'll, at the end, I'll also show the ones that's currently in the shop. All right, so my only f actual finished object is just a dishcloth. <laughs> I made some a couple weeks ago, and I had a little ball of uh, the cotton that is Christmas colors left over so I just made this little dishcloth um, with it and it took every bit of it I only had enough to weave in the end <laughs> so um, it was a good scrap buster I was a little afraid that I wouldn't have enough to do the border but I uh, had just enough it was I played yarn chicken in one but um, this is the same pattern I, I used last week which is just where you one row you single crochet skip one chain one single crochet single crochet uh, chain one skip one all the way through and then the next row you single crochet in the single crochets and then you double crochet in the skipped single crochet in the row before. Devin and I both love using um, homemade dishcloths when we're washing dishes so I wanted to make some more. The ones I made that they were a little too big so this is smaller. Okay my first whip is almost a finished object. I'm on the very last row. It's just a long row because it's the border but it's living in my Snappy Tots limited edi limited edition bag. I just throw it on it. I just throw it on everything here. But I made this a couple of years ago, and uh, I use it as a project bag because it's good to walk around and crochet out of. But I'm making this. Um, it's a scarf. Um, I saw it on uh, Tracy's video, and her channel is I Love Loopy Crochet and Treasures. I'll link it below. She made one of these, and seeing hers made me want to make one. So I started making one, and I'm almost done with it, and I wanted so bad to get done with it to show you guys, but I'm, I'm almost done. I'm close enough. But I'm using uh, Red Heart Super Saver Stripes, and the colorway is um, Cool Stripes, yeah. And I'm using a J-hook, and actually the hook that I'm using is one of the Clover Amores that was just recently gifted to me. So this is the first time I've ever used one of these hooks, and it's uh, really awesome. I like it a lot. But this is the shawl so far. Okay, I'll have to show you some of it. <laughs> This is the ruffle that I'm working on now, making it ruffly, because it is called the ruffle. I never even said what it was. It's a ruffle scarf by Melanie Ham. It's a free video tutorial here on YouTube, and it'll be linked. But I'm almost done. I got that much. I'm like halfway down, I guess. That much, the end, and then the whole other side to do the ruffles. I'm almost out of yarn, but I have another um, ball of this over there that I'll have to rip into. I'm sure, but it's. Um, it's roughly five feet long. It's a bit longer than five feet. Actually, it's a lot longer because I'm 5'7 and it's bigger than my wingspan. But the reason I made it so long is because I wanted to wear it how she was wearing it. And get it bubbled up. And that's where you double it up and wrap it around your neck and then stick the ends through this part. <laughs> so it's a scarf, but it's kind of worn like a cow. But when it's the border is done, it's going to be all roughly, not just that one side. <laughs> I think it's going to be really pretty. I love the colors. It's going to be pretty for, um, you know, sticking out of a coat. I think it's going to be so pretty and so warm. And I love it so much. I can't wait to get it done. And uh, because I'll have to rip into the other ball to um, finish the border, I will probably try to use the rest of the ball that I use to either make a hat. Um, if I don't have enough to make a whole hat, I can make a ponytail hat or a head warmer or a head warmer an ear warmer <laughs> something like that to wear with it because i like wearing matching sets i'm sure you guys have noticed i always make everything in sets but i love this i can't wait to wear it i want to be done with it so bad i'm going to try to finish it after i get done recording this so that i can wear it tomorrow when i go to the post office that's my plan <laughs> post office is closed so no one will see it unless someone's checking their mail but i will be so happy that it's done what are you doing what are you doing are you just playing? Okay, just don't go be up to no good. 
but I really love this pattern. I kind of want to make more, <laughs> but I don't have a reason to unless I gift them, which I can do. I know plenty of yarn people in the, the you know, internet world <laughs> that I could, that would appreciate it. And, um, my sister maybe might want one. I don't know. She likes purple. I think I got some purpley colors. Very, I don't know. But I love that. And it is a free video tutorial. And I would suggest watching the video tutorial. Because she does have the free written pattern underneath the video tutorial. But it does not match the video tutorial. Um, so it's going to be it'd be real hard to follow if you're new to crocheting or new to reading, reading patterns. Um, so definitely check out the tutorial if you are stumped on part of the pattern because she leaves parts out of the written part of the pattern that um, she does talk about in the video tutorial if that makes any sense but yeah so I am I am really enjoying these hooks that were gifted to me this is the first time I've ever used a clover clover amour and uh, I like it a lot this is working real well <laughs> all right my next um, whip I think it's in this one what is this one? Oh yeah this one I started it on a whim and I just barely worked on it. <laughs> this one is a free pattern by Krista over at the Secret Yarnery. Ah. If I get it all out, the cake is kind of floppy because I've been using it. It's the Tammy sweater. <laughs> uh, Seta has one that she wears all the time and it makes it made me want to make one. So I did start it. This is all I got so far. I did the foundationless. Um, Single, no, double crochet maybe as the start. And then I did one, two, three, four, five rows <laughs> of the repeat. I did measure it. You're supposed to measure it to the length that you want draped over your shoulder. So I measured it to like right at my butt, <laughs> a little bit below my butt or, you know, right the top of my butt. <laughs> and uh, now I'm to the point where you're supposed to just double crochet back and forth until it gets the width of... She, she describes in the pattern how to do it. Mine is like 10 inches, I think, that I have to single crochet or double crochet back and forth. So I was working on that, and then I just put it up, and then I started this scarf, and then I've been working on that nonstop. I'm using Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel that I got on uh, clearance at Hobby Lobby for $1.74. And this color is called Peach Orchid Paradise. And I have enough of these cakes to make my whole sweater. I just have to have the time to make it. So um, I'm hoping that it turns out good. But it's oranges and purples. And I probably will start picking this back up again and working on it once I'm done with this. But I got I got started on this and I got excited about it. So I'm trying to finish that. And I'm going to finish it when I get done filming. And I'm so excited. I will post it on my Instagram when I get done with it. And maybe the Facebook group if I remember. But I'm actually using an H hook for this. I think Krista's is an... I H J hook maybe but I started it with J hook and I got about this far and I didn't like the holes it was way too holy like huge holes so I did go down to an I hook and it was still holy so I went down to H hook so I'm hoping it turns out right <laughs> we'll we shall see I've never made a garment so this will be my first garment if I actually finish it and uh, I guess it'll be my learning curve Depending on what I mess up on this, I'll know for in the future how to uh, tweak it to make it work better. But I am excited about this because Seta wears hers all the time and it makes me really want one. And um, I may not be done with it by this uh, to where I can wear it this winter, but I'll have it for next winter, I guess. So I'm excited about that. But it's living in a bag that I made forever ago. And it's just a really pretty cardinal bag. All right, and my last um, whip is an amigurumi. Okay, I had to go get the book. My last uh, whip, my last active whip, is an amigurumi from the book that was gifted to me recently. Edward's Menagerie by Carrie Lloyd. Yeah, we can get in there. And the one I'm working on is oh, the goat. <laughs> it is called Audrey the Nanny Goat. And it's living in my heart bag that I made. I actually made this and had it in my shop last year sometime. And uh, someone, a viewer, uh, bought it and then gifted it to me. <laughs> so I thought that was really cool. All right, let's see here. This is all in bits. I have, I worked fairly on this, but not a whole, whole lot. <laughs> I could probably be done with it by now, but I just haven't focused on it. All right, let's see here. First, I'm using one of my really pretty Christmas stitch markers that was gifted to me in a Christmas package recently. 
I love these. I've been using all the stitch markers you guys have gifted me. Every time I use a different project, I pull out a different one. Because I'm trying to give them all good use. I'm using my cute little sheep hook that my sister bought me. And it's, I think it's a G. Yeah, it's a G hook. It's got a little sheep holding the candy. Eh, so cute. But so far I have the head done. I don't know how it goes. I don't think it looks anything like a uh, yeah, goat head. It looks like a mole to me. It might just be the colors that I chose, but we'll see. And I got the body done. <laughs> I did get the two ears ah, uh, crocheted. And when they're sewn on, they'll be kind of um, bent. Little ears. And then I started one foot. <laughs> I got the tan part of the foot. I just got to where I need to switch to the gray color, and then there's another stitch marker made by the same person. Okay. But the colors I'm using is Red Heart Super Saver Charcoal and Buff. These are just colors I had on hand, and I thought they looked goatish. I don't know. <laughs> Goats are all kinds of colors, so. But, um, so I need to make the legs, the horns, and the beard, and then sew it all together. And, uh, I just realized I didn't put safety eyes in it. I'm going to have to make crochet eyes. I do that all the time. I'll close the project and then I'll remember that I forgot to put the eyes in. But I'm not picking it out because I already woven the ends. I'm just going to have to put crochet eyes on there. But um, I thought that was cute. Out of that book, my two favorite were the goat and the highland cow. So I'm going to make the goat and then I'll probably make the highland cow also. So hopefully that will be finished by the next time I film. Ugh. My pretty uh, heart bag. That's all my whips. That was pretty fast. I haven't been crocheting much. I haven't had time. You know, it's holiday season. We're really busy. I have a three-year-old. <laughs> and uh, Devin's been going back and forth to the doctor a lot. And we're just getting ready for the holidays, you know, and everything's just crazy. I think after January, after the new year, things will pick back up in crochet world <laughs> for me. I do have a couple of cool things I wanted to mention, and then I'll show you guys the bags that's currently in my shop. The first cool thing is Snappy Tots, who is a, a designer that I absolutely love. She makes all kinds of cute amigurumis and uh, useful things like bags and dish towels and all kinds of projects and they're so cute. She is doing a thing right now, a sale on her website and I will link it below. Um, and it's called Seasonally, sn Seasonally Snappy, <laughs> I can't say that. And what it is is uh, for the year of 2020, each month you get a not a free pattern but you get a pattern that you paid for <laughs> and then randomly throughout the year there's going to be free bonus patterns coming out and they're only it's only twelve dollars for at it's at least 12 patterns but it's more than that really because you get extra bonus ones and it's a 70 dollar value for 12 bucks i already got my spot <laughs> as soon as i got the email i went and signed up for it right away but it's she's doing it until christmas uh the sign up so definitely go check it out quickly if you're interested in it and if you love her patterns and um, so you get you for sure get one pattern a month and it comes out the first Tuesday of the month I'm pretty sure and then bonus uh, patterns throughout the year so it's a really good way and she comes up with the coolest thing she has the neatest things that are for gifts and um, she's got a lot of little bag patterns <laughs> I love this bag I've been meaning to make more of these and I just I'm a procrastinator but I might actually maybe make some scrappy ones because I got a ton of scraps that'd be cute and they're good little project bags and like I said you can carry them on your wrist while you're crocheting and walking or exercising or whatever because I do do that on a stationary bicycle. All right, the second cool thing that I wanted to talk about is the Facebook group. I mentioned it in one of my vlogs, but I wanted to mention it on here for the people who don't watch the vlogs. But it's a crochet group on Facebook, so you do have to be a member of Facebook to participate. But it's called Nailed It Christmas Edition, and it is such a funny group. It's just a bunch of crocheters from all over the place, and the point of it is you share projects that you messed up <laughs> and what people do is they share like a picture of what the project's supposed to look like and then a picture of what theirs looks like and it's just all in good fun you know everybody makes fun of each other's but in a nice way and uh, I wouldn't post anything on there if you were a sensitive person but um, you know it's all for fun it's just to show that not everybody makes perfect things all the time and that some things are just goofy looking and it's funny um, it's mostly rated PG but there are some posts that involve uh, higher ratings but um, you know you just have to proceed with caution for stuff like that. But it is hilarious, and I will link it below, too. All right, the last thing I wanted to share with you guys is just the bags that's in the shop. And actually, a couple of these are sold. I'm trying to remember which ones. I just haven't got them packaged up yet. But I'm just going to show you. These are all sacks. I haven't made any box bottoms this time. I am planning on making box bottom bags in January sometime, probably in January. And also some more crab bags. <laughs> these snap closure bags. 
because I got a lot of those that I need to use up. But there's two of these sets. This is such a pretty print. It's really bright blue and pink. Really pretty. And I think they're, this one's got pink polka dots. And it's the bag and a notions pouch. I think this one is just the same. Yeah, this one's exactly the same. Pink polka dots. There's two of those. Let's see here, I'm pretty sure this bag set sold. There's just really pretty flowers. They're pink and yellow, I'm like a purple shade. And it's got a notions pouch. And then there's this blue flower D one. Really cute. With a notions pouch. And then there's four of these. These are really cute. <laughs> these are little um, teddy bears, like in bed. They're getting ready to go to bed. They're so cute. It's purple. The insides are kind of different for each bag. So I was using um, scraps. and But all of the bare ones come with a notions pouch. And then there's this one. It's a plaid or checkered I guess it's not plaid and it's got a dark red inside and it has a notions pouch I'm pretty sure this one is sold and then there's this blue flower one and it also has a notions pouch there is this really pretty little f roses that wasn't the alarm that was some kind of notification and then these ones don't have notion pouches. A couple of them do, but this one doesn't. This is like Disney princesses. It's got um, Snow White and Belle, and on the other side it's got Cinderella on it. That doesn't have a notion pouch. This one doesn't either. Really cute daisies. And then this one doesn't have a notions pouch either, but it's Harry Potter. This one does have a notions pouch. Notions pouch. <laughs> This has got uh, little flowers and bows on it. And the inside is a print. And it does have an ocean pouch. This one's really cool. This one reminds me of like the 70s because of the colors. It's orange and yellow and green. And it has a notions bag. And then the last one is a vintage puppy print. The other side, it's got the puppies in the middle. And it has a notions pouch. So that's all the bags that are currently in the shop, and they'll be up until they sell, so whenever. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's everything I want to share with you guys. I gotta hop off here because I gotta edit this, and I gotta figure out what to cook for dinner. <laughs> and I will try to get another episode up next week before New Year's, but if not, I will see you for New Year's. And also, um, I am still vlogging through Christmas, but for all the people who don't watch the vlogs, uh, I hope you have a happy holidays, whether it's Merry Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate. I uh, hope you're just spending time with your family and friends and all that and having a good time. I hope you get presents that you love. <laughs> I hope your weather's not too, too crazy hot or too crazy cold. And I hope everybody in Australia is safe from the fires. And what else? I think that's everything. <laughs> so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.